Hey guys, I'm Rachel. So today I will be doing my full face of nothing new makeup tutorial. I saw this going around YouTube and I thought it was my perfect chance to jump on this bandwagon. You know, in the beauty industry, uh, they're constantly releasing new products and we are constantly testing and trying new stuff falling in love with new stuff and all the old stuff gets pushed to the back burner so i thought why not jump on this this will give me the perfect chance to play with products i've loved for years but um they just took a back seat to the newer stuff that i'm loving currently this is also very drug so friendly with the exception of maybe one or two products and most of the products i'll be using today i never used on my channel before let's see products I used to love and let's create a nice everyday makeup look my type of looks so um let's get started so I'm priming my face with a Milani prime shield face primer mattifying and pore minimizing and you know the drill I've done this a lot of times on my channel I'm just using my brush and applying that everywhere on my face Then I'm using my Coty Espen powder and I'm applying that in the areas where I get oily, which is my chin and my nose. Mixing my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation with my NYX um, Hydro Touch Primer Oil. I'm going to mix those two together to share it out a little bit. I've been going in with little um, less foundation lately and I'm going to press that in my skin into my face with um, a flat foundation brush and after I'm done pressing it in I'm gonna go over that with my damp uh, beauty sponge to press that more into my skin so it looks a little more natural I'm using my uh, MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, I'm sorry, uh, concealer, <laughs> and I'm just applying a little bit of that underneath my eyes and anywhere I'm seeing darkness peeking through. This one has a little bit more red in it, so it helps to cancel out and cover the darkness um, on my skin really well. I That's the trick I used to use a lot back in the day. It works so well. So I'm just applying it everywhere I'm seeing little spots and I'm just going to blend that in with my body sponge. Then I'm going in with these two concealers, my Elegal Pro Concealer. Everyone knows that was the shit back in the day, but it's still a really good concealer. I've just used it for so long that I don't reach for them anymore, but they're really good. So I'm mixing these two shades and I'm going to leave that to set a bit on my face. And then I'm going to do my brows with my uh, brow bar to go that I had for years. You know the drill i'm blending the center with um, a brush i usually use a brush because my face is small so <laughs> the sponge is just too big for the center of my face please excuse my voice <clears throat> and then i'm blending the rest with um a sponge Now I'm using that same Coty Espon powder and I'm pressing the powder into the areas where I highlighted with the concealer. Pressing, I'm taking deep in the powder and tapping the excess off in the back of my hand like so. And I'm pressing it into my skin until it dissolves. After it dissolves, after I've done that, I'm going to go over those areas and I know I'm going to bake the area. I'm going to place the powder there and leave it for a little while before I dust it off. Then I'm using this big powder puff from my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm going over the areas that I did not set with the Coty Espon powder. And I'm just doing the same thing and pressing it in. I've been doing that a lot lately, like using the color of my foundation to set the rest of my face because it tends to leave where I highlight, highlighted. And I like the highlighted look. 
taking this square sponge i don't know why i reached for a square sponge today <laughs> and i'm just um drawing that line underneath where my contour lines are gonna be and connecting it to the sides of my lip using my wet and wild contour palette as you can see it's loved it was loved <laughs> i hit pan on both sides and i'm gonna use this big fluffy brush to bring some color back into my skin and i'm applying it to the sides of my my con my contour lines sorry i can't talk today <laughs> and my jawline and my forehead then I'm gonna go in with this Remel bronzer and I'm gonna use the darker of the shades with this flimsy brush I've been using those type of brush lately because it applies the powder so light and sheer it gives me more uh, more leeway to blend to build that color up so in the end I'm left with a really natural looking contour and I've been liking that look lately so that's what I'm doing here. I'm being sure to get to the back of my ears to shape my jawline so it looks really sharp. I'm just basically going over the same areas that I did with the first one. And I'm using that shade to contour my nose. It's a bit uh, more uh, neutral. And underneath my lips because it makes my lips look a little more perky. And I'm going to be dusting that powder off with a very small uh, setting brush. And I'm dusting and in circular motions, I'm dusting and still blending it into my skin. Going in with my Morphe 350 palette. Do you see how I loved this palette? Do you see this palette? I've hit pan on so much of those colors. Um, this palette is a uh, neutral girls dream they still have it on the side they have actually have it in like different different um formulas like they have all mattes and all shimmers and it's just a beautiful palette um i'm just using this color with my 441 blending brush and i'm applying the pigment from the outer corner of my eyes first and then i'm bringing it into the inner corner of my eyes and then i'm going back in a windshield wiper motions you know the drill and when there's little product on my brush i am doing circular motions to blend it upwards towards my brow this just helps the color to diffuse nicely so that everything is seamless and i'm only using basically two shadows today taking my um shadow brush and i'm applying that color as a highlight and i'm using this brush because it helps to blend it out too so that everything is just more blended and seamless effortless looking <laughs> using that same brush and this sort of deep dark gold and i'm damping my brush with some setting spray this just gives the pigment more foil and just makes it stick to your lids better and i'm applying that all over my lids and i'm not bring it directly to the outer corner of my eyes just fade it out into the color on the outer corners of my eyes and i'm using that brush again and really blending it into my crease and then just going over with that first brush and making sure everything is blended using my um pencil not pencil this is a liner brush please excuse my voice again <laughs> i'm just applying this dark brown to cl very close to my lash line this is a very very simple look but it makes a very great impact and i'm just using my pencil brush to blend it out even more it just makes your lashes look fuller and add more dimension to the look and now i'm using another pencil brush and just highlighting my inner corners with this sort of sorry this shot is blurry with this um sort of pinky iridescent color that just brought this this thing to the eye look I'm basically doing the same thing in the bottom lashes, applying this dark brown that I used on my top lashes and I'm blending it out with the crease color that I used in my crease. <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> I've repeated this pencil so much. It's my L'Oreal Silk Kissimmee Black Eyeliner. It is such a great eyeliner that I buy from the drugstore all the time. And just applying this in my waterline. Mel um, this is Wet and Wild Mel. Do you see this? It's Mellow Wine. I hit pan. <laughs> 
I used to love this blush so much. It gives you the very slightest, slightest sheen on your cheeks. It's not chunky. It's just glowy and nice. I used to love that blush so much. I'm definitely going to be using it some more. And I cannot do my makeup without my Morphe spray. I'm sorry. I have to set my face with that so that all the powder could just dissolve my makeup fixer. That's how I call it. Then using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, I'm going to coat my top lashes. And I'm going to use a different one for my bottom lashes. This mascara is such a great mascara. I don't know why I don't reach for it more often. And I'm um, using my um, Remmel Lash Accelerator to the bottom lash. I find the L'Oreal one tends to transform when I use it in my bottom. So that's why I switched the mascaras. Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. This was such a popular highlight when it released. I don't know. I haven't used it so much. I mean, it's such a beautiful highlight too. I don't know why. <laughs> it was so, so popular back in the day. And I'm just applying that everywhere. I usually highlight on my face. It's so golden and just beautiful. Ah. Oh. I'm going to add some lashes today. I'm using my Kiss Very Very Natural Lashes. It's number one. Um, yeah, I'm just applying that to my eyes. Apply the glue, left it a couple of seconds so that it can, it can dry. And place that over my lashes. I was going to use my cork lip liner, but I forgot to take it out because I haven't used that in so long. So I'm using my BFF 3 lip liner from Colourpop and I'm going to darken the edges even more with my Jordana um, liner. And listen, this lipstick was my jam. It's uh, in the flesh. It's wet and wild. If you're sleeping on wet and wild lipsticks, please, please wake up. <laughs> they are so good and they're like under three dollars and i'm just blending in the lines with this um lip brush so that it's blended <laughs> and i'm going in with a lighter color to the center of my lips just to bring a little more dimension and to make my lips look a little more perky and everything like that all the good stuff all the good stuff and i'm blending it over again and that's basically the completed look. I'm using my LA Girl setting spray and I'm going to set my entire face with that. And when it's almost dried, I'm going to use my sponge to just press everything into my skin. It just gives a very nice effect. It's the best, the best, one of the best tricks I have been doing off lately. And finally, I'm taking that same uh, wet and wild powder with that highlight shade. I'm just going to bring a little more highlight to the center of my face. And that is the completed look of all the products that I used to love that I might be using more in my routine now. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, guys, this is a completed look of my full face of nothing new. Um, products I've loved and been loving for years and years. So um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Rachel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell. Like, comment and share. Help me to reach the millions I one day hope to reach on this platform. I appreciate all the love and support so far. Everything I use will always be in my description box. So be sure to check that out. All my social media links, everything. I am a nail technician and a working makeup artist out here. So check the description off of how to book me so we can have a one-on-one -on -one up close and personal. So until then, let's continue to change the world one face at a time time and i'll see you in my next tutorial on wednesday <laughs> bye